Have you ever heard of Flux AI? And are you curious on how you could incorporate Flux AI into your content creation? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. Before we get started, I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view of this entire automation. What we, the ultimate goal is to use the image creation technology behind Flux AI and create a social media post. In this case, we're gonna use LinkedIn. And of course you can use any other any other platform that you want to use. If you want to use Instagram, if you want to use a Facebook, uh, you can use any of those um, platforms where we are going to use LinkedIn today, right? Because at the other side of LinkedIn is where our clients are in the notary business. And we want to get in touch with those title officers and we want to get in touch with those realtors and all other real estate professionals. Okay. So first we're going to use Claude AI what AI to create the content, to create the, generate the idea and to also create um, the actual posts and the content. Then we're going to use open AI to generate an image prompt. And then we go through um, the API to generate the actual image. We download the image and then we post it on LinkedIn. If you're curious about the platform I'm using is called make make is an automation tool that allows us to plug in all these tools together. As you can see, we plug it in Claude, we plug it in open AI. We also use some API. We also plug in um, LinkedIn. Okay. All right. So let's build this automation. The first thing we need to do is we need to set a trigger in this particular case. And the whole concept behind this is we want to generate an idea so we can post on social media. We're going to use Anthropic Claude for that. So let's hop into Anthropic Claude, create a prompt, and we're going to use the model we're going to use. We're going to use Sonnet 3.5 Sonnet, which is the latest model. Uh, let's say a thousand tokens and on um, the role is going to be user. The context is going to be text. Okay. And I'm just going to copy and paste the prompt that I used here. Okay. And let's read it together. I said, you're an expert in link. You're, you're an expert LinkedIn writer, specifically emphasizing the larger concepts and benefits around a given topic. Please come up with a big idea around the idea. The goal is to develop a title or concept around the idea and not mention the actual idea. And I said, I'll put the title you come up with only. Okay. So the whole premise behind this is whenever you're selling something, you don't actually want to sell the pieces of the thing, right? So if you sell, if you sell tires, you don't want to sell the actual tires, right? You want to sell the benefits of safety on the road. You want to sell the end result. Okay. So this particular case, I, I I do sell AI chatbots, so but I don't want to come up and say buy my chatbot, buy my chatbot, buy my chatbot. You, I want to sell the concepts around having a chatbot or the benefits of having a chatbot. Um, as notaries, we are a lot of us are guilty of this coming out and say use me, use me, use me. But instead of doing that, you need to come up with ideas around why someone should use you. You know, so that's my whole concept around this not necessarily selling the thing, but selling the benefits or selling the end result. Cause people don't care necessarily about that. Your product, they care more so, more so about what they're going to get if they buy your product or how do you get a feel when they get your product. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's Anthropic Claude and this was rename this. I'm going to name this to content idea. All right. Let's give it a little emoji. All right, we are going to give it a oh, idea, right? So let's give it a light bulb. Cool. Hit OK. And let's save. And the next thing we want to do is we want to create the actual content. OK, so we got to continue to use Anthropic Cloud again. Actually, let's just do this. Let's just uh, clone this. And oops, copy it here. Good. Let's rename this. We're going to rename it to the content the content, this content idea, and this is the content, the actual content, All right? And let's give it another emoji and let's just call it, uh, let's give it a fire emoji because we got to produce some fire content, All right? So let's go back in here and let me copy the prompt again. We'll cheat a little bit. Okay. Delete that. And we could paste the new thing here. All right. So this one is, I'm saying you're an expert. Again, you're an expert LinkedIn writer. Use the title below, create a post specific to notaries. Okay. So you want to give it your, your avatar, who you, who are you, 
who you want to produce the content for. So in this particular case, I, I sell chatbots to notaries. So this is going to be to notaries for you, maybe signing services to title agencies, to real estate professionals. So you may want to change that there. Output should be less than a th uh, 2000 characters. I'll put the body of the post only. And then we want to point it to the title, which is from our content idea, title response. Um, a thousand max tokens is fine. Again, we're using Claude 3.5 Sonnet and hit OK. And let's just save this as well. OK, so we could actually run through this. Let's just go through this once and let's see. So we're going to run it once. And the rapid came up with the idea uh, revolutionizing customer engagement, the 24 7 digital concierge. OK, so it didn't mention anything about chatbots. And let's see what the actual content they came up with, right? The text response. Um, are you tired of missing out on potential clients because you're not available 24 7 as notaries we know that our services are often needed at unexpected times but what if there was a way to engage with customers around the clock without sacrificing your work-life balance enter the 24 7 digital concierge a game changer for notaries looking to revolutionize their customer engagement strategy uh, imagine a virtual assistant that can go on and on and on um, by all this happens automatically even when you sleep by implementing these four these five things the best part is, is not just for large firms sole um, practitioners and small notary businesses can benefit too so then it goes on it gets these hashtags and it's pretty awesome right so this will be the content that we will put in our actual post okay good so far awesome so my best practice is typically using claude and Thropic whenever i'm talking to a person and then I also I use um, OpenAI when I want to actually do heavy lifting, uh, some some, and when I want to do some like analysis things like that. As when I use OpenAI, of course you can use OpenAI for both. But I just found in my practice that Anthropic Claude does a better job of humanizing humanizing the responses and the outputs, whereas um, OpenAI is more to me technical. Okay, all right. So the next few steps are we going to build is we're going to actually build our prompt. OK, but before we jump into to our prompt, I want to show you what I did. So in my community, uh, I have a video here. I have a video here of where um, I go into um, the Flux AI and the prompt and what I used. So uh, Black Forest Labs is the company um, behind um, Flux AI. This is we can uh, go to their website. Um, they came up with the Flux AI technology and if you can take a look at the pictures, the pictures are amazing. And what I like most about Flux AI is that the wording. So you can actually include in your images and the text that you tell it to prompt and output. It actually outputs that text. Whereas with um, Dolly 3, um, the uh, open the open AI um, image generation um, um, model doesn't do it as consistently as I like to. It's always gibberish and it's always you have to make like 10 attempts in order to get it out correctly. And our whole theme behind this is that we want to automate the entire process, right? So I found that um, um, Flux, Flux AI does a good job of actually creating beautiful images and at the same time creating the text that you want because that's important. So especially like when you get into thumbnails and things like that where you want to put text on the actual image i think that flux ai is going to be my go-to going forward as far as creating images and uh we'll see in a second how everything uh turns out okay so flux ai uh, by black For forest forest labs <laughs> sorry about that okay a little tongue twister so um flux ai is the actual model but the the marketplace for actually using flux ai is uh, uh a company called replicate uh replicate is pretty much a marketplace where you can where different uh, developers will come in put put in their put in their um put in their their their, their prompts and then you'll uh, allow you to use those prompts as well so this log into my account but uh you'll see here the marketplace okay so we got to use replicate in order to create the open AI prompt and open AI, um, the prompt that we need to use to, uh, to generate our image for us. Okay. And I'm not open AI, I'm sorry, the API prompt that we need to use to generate our image. Okay. All right. So again, if you go to my community, I'll give you access. You'll have access to the prompt 
and everything and all the information and how to set up accounts and everything like that as well. Okay. And I'll include link links to the community below, but let's continue. All right. All right. So what we're going to use next is we are going to use OpenAI. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, create a completion and the model we are going to use is GPT, um, GPT 4.0. Okay. Oh, we can use 4.0 mini, save some money here. The, the role we're going to use is um, user role. And I'm going to copy the prompt here. Okay. Prompt is pretty long, so I may not read the entire thing, but you'll get a gist of what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'll say you're a prompt writer. You'll be given an article title or a content idea based on this text. You'll be, you will be, you will produce a descriptive prompt for image generation. Do not include anything other than text and do not add a new line at the end of the text. So what's the most important part here is this. So in order to access the API, in order to generate the image, you have to use this, uh, this JSON script here. Okay. This JSON code, I should say here, depending on what type of image you want, if you want it to be in most social media outlets, one-to-one -one is good. But if you want to do wide, you may want to do like 16 by nine or nine by 16, if you want to do vertical images. So you just have to play with this aspect ratio, depending on what platform you're using. If you want to do, if you want to do like, um, um, like, a, like, say you want to do a thumbnail for a short or something like that, or a thumbnail for, uh, one of your stories. Or if you for TikTok or anything like that, you want to do the thumbnails, you want to generate that. Um, you want to play with the aspect ratio and that'll produce the, the image that you like. Oh, I feel one to one is the is more common. This is like a square and it's pretty much universal with any, any. Okay. One thing we need to change here is the text response. We want to give it the title. So the title is right here and that's the text response. So it's going to use the title. And it's going to generate an image based off of the title. Okay. Uh, this I give it, um, we can give it, I'll give it 4,000 tokens. That's overkill, but that's fine. And we are going to name this, rename it rather image. Okay. And let's go to the emoji and let's see. Come on. So, like a little toolbox. Cool. Okay. Let's hit save. And we're going to move on to the next step. Next step. And we are going to generate the image. So, what we're going to use here is we're going to use um, the API. So, we're going to call, we're going to make a, we're going to make a request, HTTP request. So, if we go here, HTTP. And we are going to make a request. Oh, I think I used the wrong one. Sorry. I selected the wrong one. So this we're using a basic HTTP request. Okay. Sorry. Geez, can I get it right or what? All right, so we're using the, you know, the mirror request. All right, the URL we need is right here. This is the URL we get from Replicate. Okay, and what we we'll do is we want to post, and in the headers, we want to say authentication. I'm oh, sorry, authorization. Authorization. And what we want to do is we once in, in, in replicate, you are going to be given a, um, API key, but we just have to put bearer and add the key there. Okay. And next, what we're going to do is the request this short advanced options. And what we're going to do is under body that be raw. And then on the content type is going to be Jason. And on the request content, we what we want to do is we want to choose this, which is our results from the last that we actually got 
Do we want to parse the response? Yes, we want to parse the response. And everything else is good. So we hit OK. And we got to call this. Let's rename. Let's just say create image. I, I like to put the ratio here so I know what type of image it is. And let's add an emoji to keep it cool. All right. There we go. There's my guy, my artist. Okay. All right. Um, after we create the image, after we create the image, we have to give the, we have to give make or give uh, actually replicate time to actually generate the image. So if we were to just go on to the next step here, it'll fail because the image is not generated. So we have nothing to pull. So what we like to do is we like to, I like to call it a nap. Let's give it a nap, right? So we can give it a sleep. Oops, that's my right. There it is, sleep. And the delay, I like to take a, you take like a, a um, say 120 seconds. Actually, let's give it three minutes. Okay, so let's say you had a three minute nap. Hit OK. And let's just rename this. Say three minute nap. And we could just put an emoji. And what is he doing? He is sleeping. Cool. Well, let's just change that. Pat. Boom. Hit OK. All right. Cool. Um. So the next thing we need to do is we need to actually get the image. Okay. So we can actually duplicate this. Let's see. Clone this. I'm gonna make another request. But in this particular case, we are going to get the image. Let's rename this, say get. Oops, come on. Rename, say get, image. Come on, come on, don't do that to me. Get image, come on, stop playing with me. All right, emoji. And this time we're gonna have an image, so let's use the star. Because that's the star of the show. Be okay. So in this particular case, what we want to do is the URL. Um, you know what? I may have to run this because I mean I get the URL. Let's see. Let's see if he gives it to me. Doubt it though. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to run this once in order for me to get the URL. So let's do this for now. Let's disconnect this. Um Let's actually unlink it from here. So we don't have to wait three minutes. Let's hit save and let's run this once because in order for us to get the values that we need from after it creates the image, we need to be able to pull those variables into our next module. Okay, so let's run it once. We might be able to see the image, but that's the prompt. Let's see. Actually, we might be able to, let's see. URLs, this is the get image. URL and we like some, we may not be able to see it, but let's just, let's just move forward. Okay. So let's add the map here because it's actually, it's actually still generating the image. Oh, so let's go here and let's go back and let's see if we can find it. Okay. Yeah, it happens sometimes. So let's, let's save. Let's delete this. Let's try it again. Let's duplicate. Let's uh, close the module. Let's do it. And let's see if we can see it this time. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you just have to do things multiple times in order to get it right. So the URL we need here is we need to get the get URL. So we can cancel the request or we can get the actual image. So that's what we need to do. We need to get the image. And this time we're going to actually get, use the get method, authorization, Everything else is good. The request content, we don't, we're not requesting anything, so we can delete that. And that should be good. Good. Okay, cool. So again, let's rename this. And we are going to call this get image. Oops. Oh, this gives me trouble, man. All right, let's go ahead again. Get image. 
Bild. Emoji. Ja, dann give it a picture. Good. Hit OK. Let's hit save. And what we'll do is we'll run it again. Okay, gonna run it again. So now at the Rapid Cloud came up with the content idea. The content idea obviously is gonna change every time you run this. It says a, a revolutionizing customer engagement, the future of 24-7 personal personalized digital assistance. Okay, so created it created the prompt. Um, if we look at the prompt, it says in our futuristic a futuristic digital assistant represented as a robot with a sleek design and glowing blue accent. It faces LED eyes. It's, it's face, LED eyes, and a smile, giving a welcome to parents. The, the, sorry, the words are word a little, the wording is a little cut off, um, but you get the gist. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the image afterwards. So after we get the image, what we need to do next is we need to download that image, okay? So we let this run. It's gonna be three minutes before it, before it completes, but, um, I wonder if we can see it in Flux AI. Yeah, we'll close this in. Cool. And links to everything that I've discussed with Claudia, a link to Claudia AI, a link to Make, a link to OpenAI, and a link to the community will all be in the show notes. So you can just uh, click on any of those links to access everything that I'm discussing today up here. Cool. So it's three minutes. It's like watching paint dry, but we are going to get through it. <laughs> back so now uh it generated a we got the image we might be able to see the image here if we go to the output uh if we go to data and then we go to output and this is the image here and it shows a lot of allows to copy everything let's let's just try it for a second we'll we'll, we'll cheat a little bit i'm gonna go to a new tab here and let's see if we can see the image there we go they came up with this with this particular image of a robot looking at a screen. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So next, what we need to do is we need to download the image. Okay. We can go to HTTP. We can say download. Oh, get a file. All right, we gotta get the file and the URL again is going to be URLs and get. All right, cause we turn on download the image. Or actually, no, instead of using this one, let's just use the one we just used, that's actually better. We go to uh, output and we go right here. Boom. All right, that should give us the image we want. And let's just read it. Oops, I'm sure, okay. And what we're gonna do is hit name, hit download. Donald image and let's go to an emoji and download it. Yeah. Cool. All right. And the next piece, let's just hit save. Make sure we save our work along the way. And the next piece we need to do is actually post the post, post the image on LinkedIn. All right. So let's go to um, LinkedIn. And again, you can use any of uh, any social media platform that you want at, at this step. It could be LinkedIn, it could be um, Instagram, whatever, whatever you want, but I'm going to use LinkedIn. Okay. So let's go to LinkedIn. And what we want to do is we want to create a, we want to create a user image post. Okay. There we go. It already pulled the file. So it already knows that we downloaded the image. So it pulls it from the last one. All right. The title. <clears throat> The title is going to be the title that we originally chose. Let's actually collapse everything. Let's go to the beginning. So the content idea is our title, right? The alt text, leave it as title as well. The content, all right, is going to be the actual content. I actually named it the content. So let's go to content, all right? That's the content. And that's all we need. That's all she wrote, okay? Um, hit okay, all right. So let's hit save and let's run this whole entire thing. Okay. Let's go through it. All right. So Anthropic Claude creates the content idea. Let's see what idea we have this time. Revolutionizing customer engagement, the 24 seven digital concierge. Okay. And they come up with, they came up with the content. 
came up with the image prompt and created the image. Now it's gonna wait three minutes. It got the image, downloaded the image, and it posted it on LinkedIn. All right, so let's jump over to LinkedIn and see what, how everything came out, okay? LinkedIn.com. Jumped over to my LinkedIn account. And let's check it out real quick, okay? So I'm gonna to go to my profile. And I wanna to go to my posts. Once it loads, computer is acting slow today. And here's the post. So if we go here, we click on the post. This is the actual post, okay? 24 seven customer engagement. This is exactly the reason why I wanted to go with Flux AI. We can see how real this image looks with the plants. It looks like it's in an actual office with this on the back screen of a robot. And then it came up with everything. If we hover over the image, it should actually give us the title of the, of what I put. And if I can find it, can at the moment, but it's okay. But again, with the bullet points have the, the the content here with the hashtags is perfect. It's a perfect post and you can, you can automate this and you can set this to go every day, every week, however, however you want you to set the frequency on here to set it every 15 minutes, but we could go in here and change it. We can set it to a regular interval, like a, a daily interview, a daily interval, like once every day, or you can set it however, however often you like, you know, automatically rinse and repeat this. The whole point is to put out content that is going to provide value to people and not necessarily sell them on things, right? Um, this exact blueprint uh, is gonna be inside the community where you can just click on this button here, click on the more button, click on import, and then you'll, get, you'll have the exact blueprint. So you don't have to do this manually. Of course, this is uh, free. You can just um, do it yourself and build it all from scratch yourself as well. Um, and I hope that this video provided value for you and that you learned something today and I'll see you on the next video. All right. Peace.